Yeah, yeah, it's fun. Um, still getting used to it. I only have like 210 miles on it or something, but yeah, before it. Uh, I had a Lynx and a Renegade. I get like a new sled every year, so I've tried a bunch of stuff. But yeah, I mean, it's been a blast. It's super fast. Yeah. We just raced them on the lake. His is like tuned and stuff, but this one, uh, that one over there. Oh yeah. Um, and ripped like a gnarliest wheelie. Um, I've only gotten up to like 102 so far, but yeah. the conditions aren't great yeah. out there for it it's right not now. Your highway. Yeah. But yeah, it's a blast. Cool. Right. <laughs> you too. Safe to say my carbides are shot already. <laughs> I wanted to start putting my parts on it, but I figured it'll make a better like build series in the off season to kind of do it all in the fall. All right, let's see if I can find this place. <laughs> are we going back on the lake or? I'm gonna show you. See if you okay. You're familiar with it. That's where we are. Mm -hmm. So we can rip the lake across mm -hmm. to the boat ramp. Yep. This is inlet. Yep. That's the, uh, the trail you would take to get through. Oh, okay. It's like going to the old barn. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I know how to get there. Good, Bobby. To nice to meet you. Well, he just bought the XCR. Oh, really? That, nice. That, uh, he grew up Articats uh, riders. Um, now you're converted. You gonna get a catalyst? It didn't start till like nine, 11 o'clock. Like yeah. yeah. I was uh, listening to the Snow West podcast, and they said on that that Cat confirmed it's gonna be bigger than an 800. So at least an 850, if not even bigger than that. So. No, probably not. <laughs> Uh, I mean, this is going to be at least a two-year slide for me. Yeah. And then my dad would really be the one to get it, and I don't think he's going to like the Catalyst because it's kind of rider forward like these are. So I doubt he'll get one, but we'll see. No, not at all. His hip is, he can barely walk. Yeah, it's, it's horrible. He used to work a chip route, and he used to climb in and out of a trailer all the time, so stepping up and in, in, in and out just destroyed his hip. So he's got to get surgery, but he's got to get his blood pressure down first. What time do you need to be back by? Uh, like two, so yeah. But I, like I said, I know my way around, so wherever you guys are, if I gotta just dip out, I'll just I'll just head back. So I've ridden all the way to Long Lake before, so I know all that. And I guess now I have the gauge, so <laughs> that would probably tell me. I'll catch up. It's overheating, so it's pulling power and everything. <laughs> I'll just do a couple circles, maybe that'll cool it down. This ride in years. It's bringing back memories. I have done it. I just, I don't know. I don't normally do it. These lakes are a little sketchy, in my opinion. First through fourth, I'm always pretty confident in. There are always quite a few uh, wet spots on seventh and eighth. So, and unfortunately, in between is always canoe paths.
Definitely pulls hard. It was definitely awesome to be able to run Tony Cat's VR1 Boost 137 against my Polaris Assault 146 Boost. Somewhat surprising results on a, on a very surface level. I know a lot of people think the Assault is faster than the VR1. Um, kind of two things to, to mention there. My Assault wasn't quite out of break in yet and Tony's VR1 is pretty modified. Um, I would say that I still think the results would be basically exactly the same even with my sled out of break in. We ran the sleds probably 10 times total, switched riders a few times from a dig, did some roll racing, that sort of thing, and Tony's sled beat mine probably 8 out of 10 times. I would say the only two times I beat him, I think it just came down to I got a slightly better launch than he did. His VR1 boost has the Speedworks Exterminator kit, so that's got the P22 Hypershift clutch kit in it. It's got the Speedworks Trail Muffler. It does have a tune. I'm not 100% sure which tune it has. And he's running Studboy PowerPoint studs four per row in double backer. So that's definitely helping with the traction. All in all, probably the biggest takeaway I had was how quickly his sled can backshift. It seems like the assault was really slow to get to that point. Uh, I kind of hesitated for a second almost and then would take off. Whereas his sled was just taking off every time. Obviously, clutch engagement down low is going to be a little bit more jerky, so to speak. I think his engagement set a little bit higher now with the clutch kit um, but definitely a worthy trade-off in my opinion I loved how it was clutched and that definitely might be something I end up doing to mine down the road plan is to run them again this season I've now studied the assault it should be out of breaking by the next time we run so definitely interested to see how those results go if you guys have any questions let me know down below between me and Tony cat I'm sure we can answer them and I hope you enjoy the rest of the video yeah I'll, I can go with you if you're going, yeah. Doesn't matter, I mean. Okay. Skis feel really good. Overall, it's such a different experience on this thing. Uh, doesn't really let the skis at all, but it really puts the power down. And even like when we're in kind of the sloppier stuff, I can feel it just like digging down till it finds ice. Um, this has four studs per row, double backers. Um, so it definitely has really good traction and it totally changes the experience of the sled. This is like maybe inch, inch and a half riser, but uh, feels pretty good. I'd probably go a touch taller for me, probably like a two inch riser for me. Um, but the three inch, it, the salt comes with stocks a bit much. the long lake <laughs> ride kind of sucks it's just all this road if they leave like a little bit a little bit more snow on it it wouldn't be bad but oh yeah right it has so much on it. well it's weird because like it does hook up pretty good for not having studs but i will say like on yours i can feel it like cut through the top layer of snow and then just bite and then it just it makes it feel so much faster it's interesting though how yours like really doesn't lift the skis at all like it's glued i was kind of surprised by that no, it handles great though she does not lift the skis whatsoever yeah i got the couple of or i got the torsion springs on medium 
and the coupler blocks on three out of four. Oh, okay. So yeah. I wish it lifted speeds a little bit more. Like this is fun. Like, yeah. All right, I've had a decent little day. I uh, got to ride with Tony Cat finally. We've been trying to put that together for years, so um, it had to be a little bit short. I have stuff going on tonight, so I couldn't ride as long as I wanted to, but I should round the day out with about 75, 80 miles, so that's not too bad. Got a new top speed on the boost so far, 109 miles an hour, and I'm not even really trying that hard yet, so we'll see uh, where it goes from there, but um, been a lot of fun. Still tweaking the suspension a little bit. I wasn't able to adjust my center shock even though I wanted to. Um, there's just too much snow on it and to get the uh, spring to spin so but yeah overall been a blast of a day um, glad I got to come up uh, cr getting close to 300 miles on the boost I think around 350 I'll be out of break-in so I'm looking forward to that and uh, appreciate you guys watching